now I introduce a partially observable Markov division process. In a standard Markov division process, the system dynamic or system model is known. So agent enters his current state S, takes the action A and the policy pi, and then the agent moves from his current state S to his next state S prime, and he receives a reward R. If the P is a state transition probability is known. Here, both the current state S and the next state S prime are observable. That means we can fully observe this S and S prime. However, if the environment is unknown or system dynamic or system model is unknown, so the observed states are determined by the latent variables of uh, uh, environment. That means uh, the state we observed may be different from the true state. So to describe this, uh, uh, this uh, uh, observed state, we define a belief. Belief B it means uh, a probability of uh, the observed state to be the true state. So we call this uh, uh, this case is the partially observable Markov decision process. So that you solve the Markov, de de Markov decision process and uh, the partially observable Markov decision is a different method. First, uh, let's see uh, uh, how can we solve in the you know, first method, we define the alpha vectors to represent the uh, partially uh, observable Markov decision process. And the alpha vectors are associated with the actions. So in that case, because we uh, don't know, uh, you know when an agent takes the action and the the action how affects the next state. So we uh, by adjusting this uh, alpha vector, we find the inner product. You know this alpha uh, time by b is the maximum. Then uh, this alpha will be the uh, will be the optimal uh, policy. To solve this problem, usually we use the uh, Q learning estimate the Q value at the state S and the action A from his current value and uh, the temporal uh, difference error. However, in uh, this case, in the uh, in, uh, partially observable Markov decision process, uh, we need the Q value at uh, each possible belief. as not uh, possible. To do so, usually we need the uh, observation model. This only for the for the lower dimensional problem. Another uh, general uh, solution is uh, by using the deep Q network. And then now uh, we use this, uh, uh, use this uh, Q. Uh, Q right now at this uh, belief and action to uh, approximate the true Q value because this belief, uh, this is from the observed state. So we are uh, in the uh, use the deep Q learning. We introduce the uh, network parameters theta. So we not uh, you know uh, adjust the, the alpha vectors. Instead, now we just uh, adjust the model parameters, and then now uh, we estimate the Q value at the at the uh, belief and the action A. To use the gradient uh, descent method to train the network, uh, we need to define the loss function first. This loss function, is first this part is uh, target and this is the current value at the uh, belief and the action A. And then uh, through the seven gradient descent method, uh, we find this uh, gradient of the object of the 
a loss function or object function. Then we update the network parameters. When we get the convergence model uh, network parameters, then we can estimate the Q value and then find the uh, optimal policy. However, as we discussed before, uh, in this way, uh, we uh, uh, can find the solution, the model is uh, unstable. To get a uh, stable result, we need to introduce uh, a replay memory and the double Q network. That means we use two networks. One is a Q network, another one is a target network to get a stable result. For example, here is this the this the uh, network. The input includes two parts. One part is fully observable uh, states. That means we uh, those uh, states are uh, observable, and the second part is a belief. That means the uh, state uh, for this part is not, uh, this is just uh, partially observable. We use these two uh, kind of state as an input to the network, and then we output the Q value over all the possible action. And then we find the, uh, the action that produces the maximum Q. That policy is the optimal policy. For more details, please check with this reference. Thank you.